Miigwech, Speaker. Thank you. It's a good morning. My question is to the Premier. Speaker and Snabek Nation Grand Chief Reg Niganobi and Nishinaabe Aski Nation um, Deputy Grand Chief Anabedi Ajinabiskam are at Queen's Park today calling on this government for immediate action in Thunder Bay regarding their police services. All Indigenous people have the right to feel safe and be treated equitably within the city of Thunder Bay, especially by those sworn to serve and protect. What action has this government taken since we learned that the Thunder Bay Police Services failed to properly investigate the deaths of 14 Indigenous people? Thank you, Speaker. You know, misconduct um, allegations must and are taken very seriously by our government. When we started to hear about the very serious allegations that were coming out of Thunder Bay, uh, I wrote to the Ontario Civilian Police Commission. Uh, they, of course, as you know, have started a review in January. Uh, that review is ongoing, uh, specifically related to the deaths. Uh, the OPP are doing an independent investigation. That uh, work has already begun. Um, look, when we heard from the chief pathologist and the coroner about their concerns about these deaths, uh, they did the right thing. They did that independent review. They gave it to the, um, the Attorney General who Fonds. referred that information to the OPP. Those investigations are ongoing, and we will allow that to happen without political interference. Thank you. The supplementary question. Back to the, back to the Premier. The leaders of Anishinaabeg Nation and the Anishinaabeg Nation are here to tell this government that Indigenous people have no trust in the Thunder Bay Police. Their repeated failures to prob properly investigate the deaths of Indigenous people mean that an additional 25 unsolved cases of missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls require an external review. Their families deserve answers. Systemic racism within the Thunder Bay Police is preventing justice for Indigenous people, and it is intolerable. Will this government immediately call for OPP oversight of the Thunder Bay Police? Mr. General. A member opposite and I and our government are in full agreement. These serious allegations must be and are being investigated by independents through the Ontario Civilian Police Commission, through the um, OPP. Those investigations must happen in order, exactly as you said, to bring back trust and faith in the police services in Thunder Bay and elsewhere. We've done that. Those investigations are ongoing, and we should not and cannot politically interfere in those independent uh, reviews as they take place. Thank you, Speaker.